family. So this is just going to be a quick video showing those who are, who are interested about my hair regimen. I got a couple of requests from folks on YouTube about what I'm doing with my hair now that I cut it off. Um, it's been about, I cut it off September 1st. It is now October 8th. So it's been a little over a month since I've revisited the short hair and I'm still loving it every day. At first I used to wash it every day of the week just because I could and it was just wonderful to feel the water on my head but after a while I stopped doing it because I noticed that um, my color started to fade a little bit. And for those of you who are afraid of color or afraid of any kind of treatments or dyes, I think it really depends on how well you take care of your hair. I've never had any problems with my color. I've never had any hair shedding, um, my hair being dry, none of that. It's, it's as if I've never put anything in it at all. So I highly recommend it if you can um, maintain your hair and moisturize it as need be so, um, so it doesn't get out of control. But this is this is how my hair looks after a um, a month, and it's grown a lot. Like before, it was to my head, but now I've got a lot of length, especially in the back of my head. It's just gotten really long, which I know a lot of people are all about. Oh, is my hair gonna grow? I don't really care. I mean, I'm not one of those angry people who need to have their hair grown. I do not care at all. It's just wonderful. The color is still vibrant. Not as nice as I like it. So I bought another box. And I'm probably going to do that within the next couple of weeks or so. Do another treatment of the color. Because it's not as bright as I want it. It looks good though. But it doesn't look as vibrant and bright as I would like it to. So on to the products that I've been using. First up, I've been using um, some Owen Handmade products. I purchased the Juices and Berries. And I also purchased the Honey Hemp Conditioner. And I knew about Owen back in the day. I just, um, when I first went natural, I knew about them. But I really wanted to get more into them with having having had the short hair again. And I had once had Greg Juice, which is, a, which is the same thing as this, except it's just a different scent. It's more citrusy. And I liked it. I liked Greg Juice, and I love this. It smells divine. It smells really good. Um, it... it it's okay for my hair texture. It's not, you know, amazing. I usually use it when my hair needs to get like a quick refreshing, like I need a quick wet look. Um, it's not something I use every day, but when I do use it, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with it. The fact that it's oil free is really what is what I love about it. It doesn't leave you that greasy, oily feeling. It's just wonderful. Um, and then the Honey Hemp Conditioner smells so, so good. And this I use in, as a conditioner. And I've, all, I've left it in before and it's just been wonderful. And I've also um, rinsed it out. I like it more when I leave it in. So in the morning after I go to, after I come from the gym, I wash my hair or I rinse it down. And then I put this in it and just kind of fluff my hair and go. And it's just perfect. So I love this stuff as a leave-in. Um, but it also works as a, you know, you can wash it out as well. Another conditioner that I've been using since my girl Amina put me on is the Trader Joe's conditioner. I've been using this like nonstop. Love it, love it, love it. Um, I do not use shampoos. Never have used a shampoo in a long, 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 long time. So what I do use is uh, Dr. Bonner's Magic Soaps. Bronner. And you can get these from Target. I don't know what in all health food stores. I always buy the smaller ones because they last forever. And it's great. It does not give my hair that streaky feeling. But it gets all the buildup that may come from the conditioners out of my hair. Um, and I, I prefer this over any other kind of shampoo because I know it's all natural and it just it doesn't give me that 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 streaky clean feeling. So I use this. I use this about maybe once a week, once every two weeks, not often, because I don't get a lot of build up. I've also been doing the ACV rinse, which is apple cider vinegar mixed up together and put that in my hair to get the build up out. I don't like that too much. Just because it stinks, but Sometimes I do, but I don't do it a lot. I've also been using um, Elastic QP, which you can get from any, um, you can get anywhere. And this is great stuff. It doesn't have any parabens and doesn't have any um, parabens and all the other nasty stuff that I hate. Um, no sodium lorth. And it's really good. And this is like for a deep conditioner when my hair is acting kind of dry, which it, it hasn't been 
dry lately but if it ever were to get super dry I would put this on it and put on a shower cap for about 40 minutes and rinse it out and it's just like amazing love this stuff and then for oils I just bought this since I made an order from Sephora online um, I just bought the two year oil which is one of my probably my only favorite product from Carol's Daughter I actually like this oil and granted I can make it at home I know I could but I'm just really lazy and I know a lot of naturals make their own products and it's pretty easy you know and I should know better because my mother makes her own products but I'm just so lazy so I'd rather just buy it and have it all packaged together for me and bam again it's the Tui hair oil by Carol's Daughter it smells divine um and if my hair is really dry I could just all over and it's wonderful it smells delicious and then lastly um I make oh actually I do make my own one I make my own little thing thing and this is just a regular spray bottle and what's in it is glycerin olive oil a little bit of my conditioner whichever one I decide to use it could be the Trader Joe's or the honey hemp by Owen um, some drops of lavender oil because I love lavender oil and um, glycerin, olive oil, lavender oil, and some conditioner, and that's it. And I shake it up, and when I tell you this little mixture is probably my favorite hair product of all the stuff out here, you can take all that away because I'm going to keep this. Because this makes my curls pop out so much, it's ridiculous. And I actually use this a lot more than I use anything else. Um, and I use it, you can use it on dry hair or wet hair. It's, it's actually really good on, on dry hair. When I wake up in the morning, sometimes my hair kind of sticks to my head. Just a little bit of this sprayed in, in my head. And my hair just kind of like comes alive. And I love it. And the, it really shows the length of my hair. And it just, it's just awesome. Like I love this stuff. And my curls pop out and it lasts all day. It's not one of those... You know, oh, it kind of dies. No. It stays like this all day. I love it. So, yeah. A little bit of glycerin. A little bit of your favorite conditioner. Um, your, your own essential oil, should you decide to use it. It's not something you have to do. I just do it for the smell. Um, olive oil, but just a little bit because you don't want to be too greasy and too oily and sticky. And that's it. And just shake it up every day. It's awesome. It's just such a great little mix. And I usually have to replenish this once a week because I use it up so much and my hair just drinks it up and it loves it. I also take, um, oh, for at night. I think all black women do this though. So this is a must because, you know, got to put on the satin bottom. Um, I also take fish oil pills, which I've been doing for about a year or so. Um, just because they're good for you and that probably promotes hair growth I don't know if it does and I think someone's asking me does that help I don't know for sure um, that's not why I'm taking it I'm actually taking it to see if it can help alleviate my monthly cramps which it has not but um, I continue to take fish oil pills because of the beneficial factors that it has so that may help with hair growth and um, that's it I'm very satisfied with where I am after a month of cutting my hair all off I love it and if you have any other questions about these hair products in specifics or prices or anything like that just shoot me an email at Brittany at clumpsofmascara.com or you can leave me a message or a comment or visit clumps of mascara any way you can reach me please feel free to and i can give you more information if need be okay bye